Hello all, Scooby331 here, and we are going to take a quick little journey through the Robert Moses Nature Walk here on the south shore of Long Island on the Atlantic Ocean. So let's take this little walk, shall we? <sighs> yes, and it would not truly not be a New York beach if it didn't have a particle board. Unbelievable with these yuppies. As you can hear, there's the ocean in the distance. And of course, there's the lighthouse, that's our destination. If we can make it before I run out of film, that'll be amazing. Now, this green, funky looking thing over here, in case you're curious, this is to target the deer to control di uh, dicks, yes, ticks. Targeting deer to control ticks. Uh, four poster system, evaluating the system, more for information. It's from Cornell University, awesome. Uh, any questions, you can call them at 631-444-0340. Terrific. So, how you doing? As you can see, we just continue on our merry way. Let's see what else we got on this beautiful day. These are the dunes. And yes, you wouldn't think that we have all this lovely foliage down here by the beach. Now what's, you're gonna actually, uh, it'll blow your mind is, if you look towards all these trees and everything I'm walking towards, and if you see, we're actually a few feet up in the air. I'd say right now, this catwalk that I'm on is probably about, uh, between at its lowest point, foot or two off the ground, and at its highest point, maybe eight feet. But the reason I'm saying this is, is this entire catwalk uh, during the last hurricane season was completely underwater. So just wrap your head around that as I keep going. Um, not just here, the dunes, everything. This is all actually um, technically the ocean floor for a little while. In case you're wondering why the foliage grew back so fast, these plants have been here for God knows how many centuries. They're used to this. Uh, they get inundated with uh, water and then they spring back in a generation or two. So yeah, in about four or five years, the foliage is completely regrown. You'd never even know that this was all underwater less than a few years ago. So, just some food for thought. <sighs> you know, it's not too hot today, but it's just when you got that sun beating on the back of your neck. That's where it just, it's, it gets to the point where it's unbearable. All right. Now there should be a landing deck up of ways a little bit. It's been a while, I haven't been on this thing since they redid it. But the landing deck actually overlooks the nude beach. But I think I already caught some nude people on the video that I did before. I, I don't really feel like getting any mon demonetization strikes or anything of that nature. Especially since, look, I'll be completely frank, I'm a cripple. This is uh, kicking my ass doing this walking. So yeah, I'd rather not, you know, go to all this trouble and then just because some saggy titted broad is playing frisbee, I get demonetized, so I'd rather avoid it. Yeah, Let's see, there's the highway. That's not the highway highway, that's uh, the causeway that they have here for the park. As you can see, we're getting closer to this thing. It's as I speak. It would have been cool to be here at sunset only because then you can see this light has really lighting everything up. Like, it's, it's really cool because it's a, this huge beam of light that just cuts across everything. It's like watching one of those old prison break movies, Searchlight. Where the hell is the landing? Uh, did they move the landing away from the nude beach? I think they did since the last time I was here. Thank goodness. Huh. You know, to be honest, I don't particularly like going to the, uh, the nature walk and having to go up near the naked people. Nothing against them, it's just, you know, they're not all exactly Victoria's Secret models. <sighs> Wish there was some deer or something. It's like they're all on vacation today. <sighs> How you guys doing?
You see any deer? No. Ah, damn, no deer. All right, have a great day. Oh yeah, well, hopefully we'll see a deer. And I hate saying it, all the folks, uh, Granted, I understand that, you know, they live like up in the, the brownstones and everything, but you got a lot of uh, folks that come here from uh, the Bronx and uh, they feed the damn deer. And there's a lot of them, it's the Latin folks, and it's because, you know, I, I understand the deer remind them of when they're home in the jungle and shit, because you get a lot of people here from South America, and I guess the deer remind them of back home, so they pull over and they feed the deer. Well, that's fine. Then you got all the black and white people who live here or aren't used to seeing deer in tropical environments and that sort of shit, and they mow them the fuck down because they're in the way. So, it's a bit of a problem we got here. But other than that, you know, it is what it is. I think I, this thing bifurcates this trail, like it splits, I think, once you get up to that uh, tower over there. I'll get up to the tower to give you guys a better view. But I think this is only like halfway at the end of this thing, and I'm not going to film it all the way up to that lighthouse, because I'm not that entertaining for another 20 minutes. So just to be fair. Ah, that's what the noise is. I forgot. What you hear there, that rustling, that's the cattails. Pretty cool, huh? At the end of the summer, when they're completely brown and brittle because it's the end of the season and they start to break in half when it gets really windy it makes a noise like uh, whistling it, they actually turn into like uh, natural flutes some of them it's got to be really windy it's got to be a thick cat tail but you'll hear it every once in a while most of the time though you hear like a, a whirring buzz like a kazoo and that's actually due to uh, the leaves getting dry and acting like wax paper All right, we're coming to the end of the trail. Well, it's not the end, there's a street. And then the trail starts off again over yonder. I could film it some more, but I don't think you guys particularly give a shit, to be honest. You know, it was, it was cool, curious to watch, you know. But, yeah, I don't know, another 10 minutes of this, me wandering up to the lighthouse? I don't know. <laughs> Just a thought anyway. And here we have the street. Look both ways before crossing. All right. Oh, goody, more signs. Let's see what they say. Uh, let's see. From beautiful beaches to valuable wildlife habitat, Fire Island National Seashore offers a variety of recreational and nature activities. Among the wildlife sheltered here are six threatened or endangered species, including the piping plover, Nancy Pelosi's favorite. The National Seashore also contains two cultural sites, the William Floyd Estate and the Fire Island Lighthouse. Very cool. Okay, there's the William Floyd Estate. Wilderness. Watch Hill. Sailors, hey, where the fuck is Watch Hill? Where did my whole life? Where the hell is Watch Hill? Watch Hill Visitor Center. Oh, the Visitor Center. Oh, okay, where the lighthouse actually is. That explains it. Yeah, it'd be nice if they actually had like the lighthouse in the picture. No, wait a minute. If that's the Visitor Center for the lighthouse, that's the Sailors Haven. Watch Hill. Oh, I see what it is. Yeah, I'd actually have to be. Alright, just to give you guys a quick idea. Where I am right now is somewhere in this area, okay? The reason I don't know where Watch Hill is, is it's over there. To give you an idea, if you look up on the map here, I live over there. Alright, not even, like, you follow it through on the map, I'm over here somewhere. This is where my house is, an imaginary map, just imagine it's over there. Yeah, and I'm over here right now. So the reason I've never seen Watch Hill is because it's all the way over here, in, over by Patchogue, off of Blue Point. Blue Point Brewery, in case you guys, the beer drinkers are like, Blue Point sounds familiar. Yes, it's the same Blue Point. So, okay. 
that explains why I don't know why where Watch Hill is, because I'm not rich. I don't go to that part of Fire Island. This is all where it starts green here and goes over here. This is all rich people. This is where the rich folks go, like the, when they talk about Fire Island. Uh, where the hell is Cherry Grove? There's the famous Cherry Grove. That's where all the gay people go. So, yeah. Okay, that's this map. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a big family group. Cool. Okay, regulations. Remain on the boardwalks. Pedestrians only, no bikes. Pack it in, pack it out. And they put it in quotes. Take your trash with you when you leave. Where pets are permitted, uh, permit, uh, where pets are permitted, keep them on a leash. Clean up after your dog. Stay off the dunes. Do not feed wildlife. Metal detectors are prohibited. Wow. Well, no open fires. That one I can. That makes sense. But no metal detectors. God, what are those old men gonna do? They're gonna stay home and bother their wives all summer. See anything cool? Oh, is that what that is? This is actually a horseshoe crab. That's the underside. That's the overside. I like how they did a yin yang with it. Or Tao, sorry, I forgot we got intellectuals who are watching. Attention, pet owners, pets, kites not permitted on Fire Island. Wow, we're starting to turn into California out here with all these rules. All right. Did you know the original lighting apparatus in the current Fire Island lighthouse was a magnificent first order Fresnel lens? No, I did not know that. Now I'll sleep easier. All right. Got a few more minutes on here. I was actually going to end it, but then I started reading the signs, and I said, you know what, we're right here. I got five, six minutes left on this thing before I run out of footage. I'll try to see if I can get as close as possible to the lighthouse. And who knows, we may actually see one of these elusive deer. So we continue on our journey. Sharp bend. I just realized this is a different catwalk. There's no more giant railings. Hmm. Cool. I'm nervous now. A deer can just run up on here and stare at me and chew. And just keep staring and chewing. And what would I do then? Sorry. <laughs> Channeling my inner New York liberal. No, seriously, that's how these freaking people think. Oh my god, there's no guardrail. The deer. The deer. What do we do about the deer? I don't know, walk fucking past it, man. It's a deer. No, well, the, the deer, the, it, it, it might come over to me. So I give it some salt. I don't have any salt. Yeah, you do, you're a liberal. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, my bad jokes aside, we, sh we are getting closer. You can actually see, uh, see the lighthouse a little bit better once I get past the tree. like a news helicopter. Very cool. I should actually be here in two seconds. Sad thing is, get all the way over here, I gotta walk back, I ain't got no one to talk to. <laughs> it is what it is. <coughs> Just enjoying this beautiful day. See, I'm not the only one filming out here. How you doing? Sound of the ocean, birds flying overhead. Beautiful undergrowth. Well, I guess beautiful is a bit of a stretch, but still, it's nice scenery everywhere. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it from here. I don't know how good the view is. 
It's actually people walking around up top of that lighthouse. Now what I'll do is when I get over there, if my other video finished up loading from earlier, I'll see if I can delete it. Hell, I'll try to get up on top of that lighthouse and do some f uh, filming. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. I don't know, I gotta see, you know, because there's no Wi-Fi signal here. So I've been uploading the video since like 11 a.m. It's about, it was like 60 to 70 percent done, because I'm using like the 4G. And it was about a good 10 minute video, I guess. So, yeah. Oh, this is cute. A picture frame, see that? They, they purposefully do it like that, so boom. Very cute. See, see that? It's an actual, like, it's a lit, what they call a living photo frame. For a minute I thought somebody boosted the shit out of it. I was gonna say, who the hell's gonna steal a sign? Very cute. Area closed for dune and habitat recovery. I guess this must have been a pass. I don't know. So. Oh, cool. We're almost at the lighthouse. Awesome. Ironically, I think I'm going to run out of footage the minute I get to the foot of this thing. time and these goddamn yuppies are everywhere like fucking cockroaches with cell phones all right down to the last final minute mark and here we go we have arrived oh, cool another boardwalk over there awesome yeah well it's gonna cut out in the next 30 seconds. So let me just do my outro really quick. You guys know the deal. I'm Scooby331. As you can see, I'm coming to you live from the beautiful Fire Island seashore. And here we have the Fire Island Lighthouse. Finally. <sighs> Irony abounds. So, until next time, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Scooby331. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, God bless, and bye-bye.